Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. Uh, today is going to be uh, another flipping video, but I kind of decided to do a little different format for tonight. This week's been super busy, uh, a lot of stuff to do. If you don't know, I'm moving out of my house, moving everything to a storage locker. Just a lot going on, so I kind of wanted to do a video, but I don't want it to be any restrictions. I don't want a time limit. I'm just going to be recording some flips and other Grand Exchange money making methods that I'm just going to do uh, tonight. And uh, I don't know, we'll see how much money we make. Temporary name for this is Late Night Flipping Sessions. Alright guys, hope you enjoy. Uh, let's get started. Alright, so to start off here, I'm going to be using about 110 mil today. We'll just examine that to begin with here just so you can see. 110 mil even. Decent amount of money to start with. So I always like to start by doing um, an item combination set, which always yields quite a bit of money. So we're just going to do a quick check of the, well, let's do the Guthans armor set. It always works pretty well. Usually what I do when I'm doing a flip like this is I'll first take the combined armor set and have a look at the uh, medium price. So we are using G Tracker here just to look at some of the prices. There will be a link in the description for that. So we can see we can sell the Guthans armor sets at about 4270, let's just say. So we're just gonna go and subtract uh, what an average buy price would be for each individual piece. So minus 1650, uh, minus 650 roughly, minus 570, and minus 1270, roughly. So uh, it's about accurate, 130K per item. And G Tracker showing eh, 140, so reasonably accurate. So the Guthans helm at about 1660. You don't have to be like right on the dot by any means. And we'll go for 10. Ooh, we actually insta bought one. Next up, the Guthans chain skirt will buy for 580. How about? And once again, 10. Uh, Guthans plate body is a little variable, but maybe 650. It's pretty high on the average there. Let's try 660. Do 10. And last up the war spear for about 1280. Okay, so we're gonna wait for those to come through and we'll go find uh, some more flips. Okay, so next up we're gonna try some high volume flips. Uh, first up we kind of saw the dragon leather, which has an insane margin. Probably not gonna stay like that, so we'll just have to go uh, re put that offer in later. However, G Tracker is also showing green dragon leather over here, so let's go have a look at that. Okay, green dragon leather has a well, 20 GP margin. That's still pretty good. We'll do another 9k of these guys. And let's have a look at the raw monkfish. Should be a quick flip. 325 into 316. That's really good for monkfish, actually. Uh, the limit on the, these guys, 13,000. Sweet. We'll do 12,500 then. All right, guys. Uh, so I went and got some tea, and quite a bit of my stuff has come through. Uh, mainly all of the Gotham's pieces, all 10 of them, which is nice. Also, 17,000 magic longbows and 6,500 red chinchambas. Alright, so I feel like this dropped down a bit. Hopefully, we'll still get a nice profit on it. 13.46, and we bought them for, eh, 13.38. 6 GP isn't a lot, but uh, we'll sell it. 13.46, and the Red Chinchampa. 14.12, ah, that kind of dropped down too. Oh well. Pop it in there for 14.12, and 91.79, and we bought it for 91, and eh, 70k. Not bad. Okay, so one thing we gotta do is combine them to sets. We got all 10. Perfect. So in total, we paid 41.84 for them. And we're gonna straight up do a price check just to know what we're looking at here. 42.60. That's okay, it's only 76k profit right now. Not getting too lucky here, but we'll sell it off. All right, 42.59. Not ideal, but still a good profit. Okay, so all our high volume flips have completed. We have the magic short bows selling for 13.46. We profited probably, I think, 70k on that, roughly. Green Dragon Leather we sold for about a 15 GP profit, about 70k on that one. Uh, unfortunately, I've gone through so many offers. I'll have to go check it after, but I'm almost positive we profited uh, between 50 and 100k on all of these offers, which is nice to see. Coming through now, we have uh, the Armadil Helmet, which actually seems to have a very nice margin on it, over 100k. So we're going to start selling those off now. We're hoping to sell them for 3630, although uh, we'll have to see if that changes anytime soon. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close to selling off the Guthans armor sets. That's a nice 700k profit there. And uh, we're going to go look for some uh, high volume flips now. Okay, I'm just back to update you guys on the couple flips going on. Uh, I was kind of in the process of uh, finding some more. I was kind of struggling finding some. However, I found two really good ones. I almost took about uh, 40 minutes or so to do this full flip. Now, the Armadil helmets we bought for. 35.11 and we sold them for 36.40. So that's 120k profit per armadillo helmet. So that's probably close to a million profit there. 
Uh, the Guardian Boots were selling for a 70k profit. We've sold uh, three of them so far and bought another four. Okay, and we just have one more Gusland's Armor set to sell off. Um, so I'm going to try to find some more flips. I'm struggling a bit to find them right now, but uh, we'll keep trying. Alright guys, it's uh, close to midnight now. Let's go see how much money we made tonight. So first up, we have to pull out the uh, Gusland's Armor sets, which I think we made roughly 700k on. Uh, next up, we have the Blood Runes, which we made about 40k on. And a bunch of little dinky flips that really didn't do too well. Uh, battle Stabs, we only got like 20k on. Death Runes were pretty solid, 40k. I uh, kind of got scared on the Dragon Bolts just because of, uh, well, on release I almost lost like 20 mil on these stupid things. And uh, we did sell the pair of Guardian Boots off and the Astro Runes. Alright, another couple flips coming through. We have the uh, Tyrannical Ring, uh, which I've struggled to flip in the past, but this time it did work. We sold them for 35.97 and uh, we bought them for uh, 35.30, so about a uh, 40k profit in each one. And we have the Krill's armor set. Only got two of those flipped. But uh, we got eh, just about 40 can those ones as well. Alright, next up we have uh, some really nice flips on the Zamoraki and Hasta. About 40k on each one uh, times 8 is about uh, just over 300k. And that was a very quick flip. So we're going to get, I think, 320k from that. Uh, the Uncharged Toxic Tridents are looking very good as well. 70k on each one. Uh, we flipped three of them so far for a 210k profit hopefully we can get the other i guess four of them but we'll pull out the money for everything that's sold so far and we'll go find hopefully some other items just as good as this let's just do a quick price check again to see what we're looking at yeah about 200k from the toxic tridents and in total we've made about three mil so far nice okay uh, next up here we have some high volume flips that we put in as well as uh, berserker rings the berserker rings we're gonna put a 20k margin on so not bad for how quickly they flip, and we did manage to do all 8 of them, so that's nice. Uh, the Robin Hood hats, we're also getting about a 20k margin on, and they're coming through pretty quick. Now on top of that we have uh, Redwood Logs, Runite Bolt, and uh, we're venturing into the Diamond Dragon Bolt tips again, which I'm a little scared about, but we'll see how that works out. We'll pop these in here for the well, 60k profit so far. And both the Redwood Logs and the Runite Bolt have a very good margin on them, over 20. Uh, so actually we're looking to make a pretty nice profit from these high volume items. So we're selling for 239 so yeah, just under 20 and we'll, well, I guess we'll wait for them all to come through, why not? Okay, we're back again. Uh, we've sold off the majority of the Robin Hood hats. We're buying them for 1748 and we're selling them just between a 10 and 15k profit. So we're looking to make probably 100k on those, so decent and a very quick flip. We sold off all the Redwood Logs, eh, just about a 50k profit, not too bad. And we actually found a very good flip on the Zamorakian Spear. However, I'm definitely getting contested for this one by a ton of people. Um, so we managed to get one and we'll probably flip it for maybe 70k to 100k in profit. We're going to pop it in here for 99.45 for now. And uh, we'll see if that ends up selling off. And I think we're going to go collapse this Robin Hood hat offer and reduce it down a bit. It's been stagnating like this for about 20 minutes now. So I think they should have sold by now. So we'll reduce it a bit more. So we found quite a few good potion decanting flips. We instantly bought pretty much the max amount of Super Attack Potion 3s. And we're looking to make about 70k just in profit in about... It'll probably be like a 10 minute flip overall so that's really nice so we'll go ahead and decant these quickly here for those who don't know it's really easy you just uh, have to put in offers for three doses of potions and then you can decant them into four doses for a decent profit we're just going to go recheck that here now the way to check the margin is a little confusing i do have a video on it which i'll leave in the description but we're selling them for about 330 which in the end will be about a 75k profit we also did sell off the zamorakian spear for 99.30 which is just over 50k and we did get one more which will pop in for the same price all right guys i think that's where we're going to end it for today we made a good amount of progress uh just doing high volume flips and some decent high margin flips as well in the end here we did a couple potion decants which were like very quick so it's very nice to do these flips uh, normally i would wait until i got all 2k of them however i was just getting a little impatient towards the end here and one thing i've learned is that patience is key over anything else all right so the last uh, zamorakian spear flipped for only about 30k Amalized Crystals we sold for 805. Probably got between 50 and 100k on that one. Uh, we got the Super Tax and Super Strength sold. Super Strength we got 50k on, and Super Tax we got actually more like 75k on, and that was so easy. And last up here, the Runite Bolts. Alright, guys, let's go do a final price check here. So, this is just from an evening of just doing casual flipping and other just random money making techniques, and we made just over 4 mil, <laughs> pretty much 4 mil on the dot. So I'm pretty happy with that. I uh, could have made more for sure, but I think we chose some good items, and uh, we got some good flips, and we 
didn't make too many bad decisions. So anyway guys, that's about it. I apologize for my voice. I'm very sick and just tired overall. So hope you guys understand. I should be a little more spunky in the next video. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.